Hey guys, so in this video, um, I'm gonna take this old case here. Look how vintage, look how old it looks. It's a black colored one with some gray over here. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's seen better years, right? So I'm going to spray paint this. I'm gonna show you how to do that, guys. Uh, if you can reuse computer parts, you can save money that way, so not buying brand new case. So I'm gonna uh, spray paint it white. This is the um, the side panel that you can just connect back on there. But um, first of all, I'm going to remove my graphics card, my good old friend, the RX 460. Still, you can play Fortnite performance, low settings, and get over 120 FPS easily on average. Way over that. I love this graphics card. It's old, but it does the trick. It's only 2 gigabytes of VRAM. And this is already for outdated for computing. Just a really old system here, motherboard. I think this is DDR3. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, pull that out. I'm gonna sp spray paint this, as you'll see in a minute, and it's gonna look way better. And then I'll be able to use this case and put a brand new um, motherboard, a brand new CPU, a CPU cooler, brand new RAM. Ra probably keep to the same graphics card, or I don't know. This comes with some fans already installed. I'll probably keep that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna remove all this stuff, and then I'll show you part two. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. Um, I'm outside in my backyard patio. I don't want to get my furniture um, with spray paint, so I got this carton board here. And you can see that I've removed the components of the CPU inside. I left the fans, the wires connected to the, um, to the case itself. That's the guy that we don't no longer need. I'm gonna get rid of that, it's too old. It was, this guy was having even issues playing Minecraft or Roblox like less than 30 frames per second so no it's not it's not even playable so i'm going to throw that away and here's our guy right here so nothing special we're just going to go ahead and spray paint this and um just everything that i see black here inside here i'm not going to do anything but um i'll leave the back and back of it with this color so you know ideally i'm doing this on the fly if i had a little bit more time i would actually put some painter's tape so i don't get some of this You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and um, go ahead and start shaking this guy up. And uh, let's get to it. Let the games begin. All right, let's go ahead. Nothing special, just make sure you cover it. Put as many layers as you see fit. Put some type of protection for your uh, nose and whatnot, but let's see how this turns out. Okay, I've applied the first coat of paint. You let it dry. This actually dries pretty fast, especially if you're outside. But you can see I still have a bit more to go. Uh, but just going to go ahead and, you know, spray this. And let it dry a little bit, like one minute, two minutes in between the sprays. And uh, let's see how this turns out. Should look good at the end. All right. So I pretty much covered it all. Look, look at the difference in the case. Look how different it looks. So I'm going to let this dry. This is the bottom of the case no, nobody really cares about seeing that but um there is probably a side here this side over here on the other side that's facing down i can't get to it yet but i'm gonna let the top side this side here and the other side over here go ahead and finish um drying i'll be back in about five minutes and then flip the computer and uh, and and get the parts on the other side that i didn't get to yet like I said earlier, this paint tends to dry pretty quick. Oops, <laughs> I spoke too soon. You see, I applied too much paint on this side and you can see I'm gonna have to redo that part because I got a little bit of paint on my fingers, but I'm gonna wait this out. You may need to wait. I thought it was gonna dry quicker. So almost five minutes, but maybe on the safe bet of 10 or 15 minutes. All right, so I just managed to flip it off. It's still drying on the other side, but you can see this is the part that still needs to be painted over here white this side that I told you that probably I wasn't I didn't get to because of the positioning of the so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and let this dry come back in 10 or 15 minutes okay so I've gone ahead and paint what I indicated to you earlier uh, you heard that little noise is the paint that got a little stuck onto the case and it got stuck to the cardboard so good good thing we have the cardboard here but um to the touch it's pretty dry it's been about 15 minutes um, I finished this side that I showed you that it was you know uh, uh, hitting the cardboard and it seems pretty dry to the touch 
Uh, one thing to note, the power button is still functionable. Just press it, the restart button as well. You can just still push it, you know. But um, I may give this one more. Again, this is not going to be perfect. You can see there's some um, water bleeding. I mean, uh, water bleeding. I mean, uh, paint bleeds here. You know, that just means I put too much layer of paint. Again, I'm not an expert, you know, at doing these paint stuff. But lo and behold, I think it looks better than it was before, in my opinion. You know, there's going to be some imperfections. I probably will just spray paint a little bit more. But for my... See, this is the, the, the bleeding here and then... This is pretty dry here, actually, so I may let it dry a little bit more or actually may spray print a, a one more quote. But overall, that's pretty much it to doing a case transformation. Once this is fully dry, you'll be able to put your computer port components inside and just use this like any other case, really. But um, I'm happy with how it results looked. Oh, I forgot. I need to actually spray print the, the side panel here, which I forgot. I better go ahead and do that. But it's the same procedure. You're just going to go ahead and spray print it, let it dry. If you can do it outdoors better, make sure you wear some type of protection for your nose, your mouth. You don't want to inhale this spray paint. Not too much of it. And again, you do everything at your own risk. But I'm, in other words, this is pretty much it. I'll do a quick video update, maybe take some pictures and show you how the final product looked like. But that's pretty much it.